Of all the industries devastated by the lockdown, show business has suffered more than most. After being forced to cancel hundreds of shows last year, one famous circus is again facing an uncertain future. The troupe was just beginning its busiest time of the year when disaster struck. Now dozens of performers are left living by the side of a busy road. Barely had the big top gone up when the COVID curtain came crashing down. The riders were about to open for our main town of the year, closed. Four weeks at this Rose Hill site over the June-July school holidays is usually where Stardust Circus does its best business all year. They'd only done one show when the news came. From 6pm today, all of Greater Sydney, the Blue Mountains, the Central Coast and Wollongong will go into a lockdown. All of a sudden, <laughs> their season came to a grinding halt. We cancelled the six o'clock show and from all the rest from there on. 29 performances all up. Shut down for 13 months from March last year, operator Janice Lennon says recent good runs had hopes rising. And we thought, oh, this is great. We're going to catch up on a bit of money. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it just went down the tube. But the circus isn't just a show, it's a lifestyle. The 44 people who work here also live here. From all over the state, they're on the road together for 48 weeks of the year. Now, they're all in limbo together. We were meant to be here four weeks, which that's come and gone, and, uh, well, who knows? The next site that we're to go to was Liverpool. It's cancelled. Um, we're to Bass Hill after that, and we've just had word from the council there that it does not looking too, too good there. There are lots of mouths to feed, and while many performers are receiving federal COVID payments, the state government's business support won't be enough to cover insurance costs or the registrations of more than 40 vehicles. These seats may be empty now, but the team here knows they won't be forever. That's why nearly all day, every day, they're still in here, busy training. Hanging on for the day when they can perform again. For the cheers of the crowd, the smiles in the stands flying high in the bright lights. Lachlan Kennedy for 10 News First.